Hi guys, welcome to Freebirds View and welcome to Rag Plus LLM UCS in Finance Domain Playlist Part 6. So let's get started. So if you don't yet watched my 75 hard Gen A playlist, please watch and learn Gen A for free. I will put the link in the description. So here I show you what is Chatbot. So it's a visual interface powered by NLP to answer user queries based on the data the model behind the Chatbot is trained on. It is heavily used in the e-commerce or many other websites to give user good experience regarding the services, products and the policies. So using Gen AI, companies are building chatbots for their products, queries, just as Financial Times build a chatbot for their users by using the decades of the financial data to answer the financial questions. Similarly, Gen AI in banking or finance domain is increasing day by day at a very high rate. In banking, Chatbots are mostly used in retail side to answer the user queries about their finances, investments or products or transactions as well. Okay, so we can build the Gen A chatbot by using the large language models and RAG that store the company data to answer the users about their product and services or policies so, so that user can have a good and seamless experience by using the company's product. Okay, so as I promised, this is the next video from this list and I am building this project by using the Mistral fine tune model Zypher 7B LLM. So let's get started with the project and build our Gen AI financial chatbot with Python, Langchain and Zypher LLM. Alright guys, so here is the Kegel notebook on which I am building this project and this is the problem statement. I am building a financial Gen AI based chatbot for answering the user queries about the product services and policies and helping the customers to use and buy products effectively. And I build this project by using the Python Langchain along with the large language models and our RAG architecture. So we are using the Chroma Vector DB here and this is how we can build this project. And these are the like same steps that we use in our past projects. Just the part of the data pre-processing and building a RAG chain can be changed. Okay. So this is how our chatbots will look like and how it will work in the real domain but we will build just a backend part of that and if you want to know about a complete playlist you can just cl click on this link and you can directly go to my playlist and where i upload all the llm plus rag finance domain projects okay and you also see my 75 hard gen a playlist as well and so so first i load this bank faq data set here this data set contains the questions and answers along with the class so we just need the question and answer column from that to build our complete content that this is the question that is asked by the user and this is the answer that is given by our uh, call center employee or any other kind of needs. Okay, so we will build a content column here that will build a question answer kind of a prompt format. Okay, now we have this kind of a complete prompt format here. Now we just need to put it into the document format so so that we can easily put it into our vector db. So for that I just load the uh, document uh, function here and that will uh, take all the content part and put it in the documents uh, list here in the form of document. So that see we have the metadata, we have the page content and this is the question and along with the answer we have. Okay, now we load this complete document structure into our vector db. So first we need to uh, get our embeddings. So we take the open source hugging face embeddings here and then we install our Chroma DB and load the Chroma from the Langchain vector stores and build our uh, vector store with the help of the documents that we just built above into the vector DB here. Okay, so now we have our Langchain Chroma vector DB here. Okay, now first thing is we need to load the our large language model. So for that we just uh, uh, take the uh, model here. This is the model name we have and also we build a uh, quantization configuration here because I cannot load this whole complete model of that big size so I need to quantize it. So for that I just use the uh, quantization format to decrease its the size so that we can easily load an inference from it. Okay, I also need to uh, install this accelerate library to work with the model and do the inferencing very fast. Also here, I just load my model here and I just load its tokenizer as well. I pass my quantization uh, configuration from here to this. Okay, so now my model is loaded in a complete quantized format. Now it's time to build a hugging face pipeline. So that pipeline will help me to like build a single 
a query pipeline function that can be used in my rack qa chain as well okay so first i need to test this live language model so first i build this kind of a simple colorized text uh, function that can uh, like uh, color my question and answer so that it can be in a good for format as well then i just build my L llm here and put my query pipeline into this hugging face pipeline function so that it can become a single function here that can just take the prompt and give us the response as well okay so i just enter a question what is chat about how it is used in the finance domain it gave me a very suitable and good answer as well okay now now let's take it into the real world so we have to build our uh, own ka kind of a chatbot so i just uh, uh, write here the prompt first that you you are a finance qa expert you can analyze the query and answer and based on the question and the context from the vector db okay so here i just build the retriever function from the vector db here and i can build a kind of a prompt out of this template and build my rack qa chain here so this rack qa chain will take up the prompt and take up my retriever along with my large language model and then uh, generate the response so i here i build a complete chatting uh, function here that function will do one thing it will just take your user input and can then generate the result from the this qa chain and give you the result so if you type out exit or quit it will just quit the chatbot as well so here for the first question i asked how to register so it, it just uh, generate everything here that you can go to the website and click on this like that everything is right down here how i can reset my password how i can update my personal information how i can delete my account every information it give given to me uh, as per my uh, query as well okay uh, so uh, this is how you can like build a chatbot by using a, a finance data but if you have there like another kind of uh, data set as well like i have this e-commerce data into the json format so i just load this data as well and then it has the same format of the question and the answer i load and put it in into the same format of the data frame so here i have the question and here i have the answer and i just do the same steps as above to build a content column here and put the content column into the document format uh, as like above and load our hugging face embeddings and then uh, load that into our chroma db and then simply load our complete model as i load above in the quantized format and then uh, build the pipeline and test it and then simply build a complete kind of a crack q a chain that can answer the queries so here i answer about the return policy of the newsletter that is mentioned in the products of the e-commerce so it just give me the complete return policy as well then I asked about the can, can I exchange the newsletter for a different one. It can also answer that. Then I ask about the how long it takes. It also give me the answer of that as well. Okay. And then I just completely exit it as well. Okay. So that is how you can like create your own project with the help of Jenny and build your own chatbots by using your company's data. And you can build like uh, amazing chatbots if you are using multiple other kind of large language models like open AI models or lang chain models as well okay so i hope you guys completely understand that th this is our complete project and in our next video we'll uh, build a synthetic data generation pipeline with the help of large language models and rag so that it can generate the data as per your company's policy as per your company's data patterns as well that, so that you can use that data to train your uh, machine learning models or deep learning models as such. Well. Oh guys, and if you want to know more about uh, prompt engineering, generative AI, machine learning, you can watch my videos on YouTube and also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank guys. Thank you so much.